Hello. After discussing the tight binding method, we are going to discuss the nearly free electron system and we are going to represent that system with plane wave basis. So how are we going to deal with it? We wish to obtain the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the Hamiltonian given as h equals minus h cross squared over twice m d2 dx2 in one dimension plus the potential as a function of x. Now we will start from an empty lattice eigenvalues and eigenfunctions. At a given k value, the crystal wave function can be represented as psi k x. This quantity can be expanded as a linear combination of the plane waves. So the plane waves are given by W index k n equals 1 over the normalization constant e power i k plus h n times x where L is the length of the crystal one dimensional crystal and h n this quantity is given by n times 2 pi over a a is the lattice constant Now, if we want to find out the Hamiltonian matrix element between the basis functions, then we can write W K M the Hamiltonian followed by the ket state W K N. This gives us the matrix element which is represented as H cross squared over twice m k plus h n squared times a Kronecker delta function delta m n. If m and n are different then this quantity is going to be 0. It only contributes if m and n are equal plus 1 over L integration over 0 to L e power minus i h m minus h n times x v x d x which may be given as h cross squared over twice m Kronecker delta m n sorry let me write that uh, momentum part first a k plus h n squared delta m n plus v h m minus h n. So, this is a new quantity that we have introduced which is nothing but this quantity and so what does it mean? V h denotes the Fourier transform of V x.
that is what it means. So, if we now write a matrix of the Hamiltonian and if we try to diagonalize it on the basis set of plane waves, we will get a secular equation for the energy eigenvalues and that secular equation may be represented as h cross squared over twice m k plus h n squared minus e times delta m n that means these are the diagonal elements of the matrix plus v h m minus h n and the determinant of this matrix equals 0. 